from beginning to end. You know what I'm saying? And he did that. Like, like Glass did that. If you've not heard, um, what's, the, what's the name of his album? Uh, no Love Lost, something like that. Uh, let me go back to the page. It is called, yeah, No Love Lost. If you've not heard No Love Lost, the deluxe, not just the original version, the deluxe, then you definitely need to do that because it's one of the best albums I've heard. It's one of the best albums that dropped this year and last year. Um, I've not heard Six Tape. That is uh, Six Tape 2. That is the album he dropped with his uh, collaborator, uh, Bino, whatever that man's last name is. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not like a super fan of his sound, but I'm allowed to feel how I feel. That's subjective music stuff. So, um, but I like Blast personally. I think Blast dropped a really good album. Um, so, but my personal choice, I think, should win though is Pooch Heisty. I, I disagree with M. Dot in that Coyle Ray would win. I don't believe she'd win. Um, and honestly, I don't think she should win at all. I, I think that really may, would make it worse for her if she wins because she's really a still a severe upcoming artist like she she like she'll go to shows and she still only has two songs that people know two to three songs people know i like coilery a lot i've said this a lot i say that i listen to coilery's music she has dope songs like even that that um uh that new song she dropped okay yeah uh 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 i mean even i've been listening to coilery since like huddy you feel what i'm saying um like i i've been in tune with coilery for a minute she made dope music but i think that her winning this would give people even another reason to hate her if, say, she goes on on tour and people still don't know her music. Because people still don't know her music. Like, she went viral for No More Parties, then got the Lil Dirk feature, right? And going back to what you said uh, as well, uh, Chicago Insider, about best uh, hip-hop artists, I don't know why Lil Dirk's not here. That's, that's for a fact. That is a big fact, honestly. Um, but that also makes me think back, too, as well, where it's like, you saying the whole cases thing, I you know it's debatable because like Lil Durk is fe featured on these songs, but they didn't put a song that is his. You know what I'm saying? It's like he's featured with Drake, and they they nominated the Drake song essentially, and he's on the song. And you know they love Pooh Shiesty, so he's on the song as well. So it's like you know whatever. But I really don't think that Corey should win this because it would just give more people a reason to dislike her if she continues to drop music that people don't tune into. Because it'd be like, oh, you won best hip hop artist, and still no one listens to your music. You know what I'm saying? It would just, it would just derail her even more. You know what I'm saying? I don't think she deserves that. And she's a dope artist, and she, she still needs to continue to build that fan base because she has viral kid fan base. You know what I'm saying? She has viral kid fan base. She kind of makes viral kid music, and um, not everybody, not every viral kid music fan is gonna buy a ticket to be able to go to your shows because viral kid music that targets viral kids that like viral kid music, they be broke. You know what I'm saying? They be broke. They don't got the 60 to $100 to spend on the ticket to go to your show. You feel what I'm saying? This is just a fact. Uh, Koi's been stinking up the place. I seen a, vi a bit of someone sleep at her show. I just, I don't know. I just don't like the Koi Ray hate. She makes really good music. Like, she makes dope music. Like, she's, like, listen to a song called Did It. Listen to the song called Huddy, if you never, if you never heard Huddy. Like, uh, uh, I like it off the project she dropped last year. Like, she has really dope songs. It's just that, she had her rise and then like 